You're listening to our OSR Media. Hello everyone, my name is Oliver. Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. One of the most significant flaws with young Sheldon was that the characters were contradictory with how we knew them from cameos or previous mentions in the Big Bang Theory, which obviously takes place after the prequel episode. This means that the show has to explain why the primary characters referred to Sheldon's family members the way they did. One of the key instances is how ardent and much of a religious zealot. Sheldon Cooper's mom, Mary, is in TBBT. But the young Sheldon final explains how Mimor inadvertently signals the change in Mary we see in the future. The final to young Sheldon did a really good job at trying to wrap things up and explain how characters evolve before the Big Bang Theory, something we will see more in the upcoming Georgie and Mandy's first marriage spin-off. The big shift not really discussed until the final of young Sheldon is how Mary, Sh Sheldon Cooper's mother, moved from being a reasonably religious woman to a truly devout Christian and religiously fanatical zealot. The young Sheldon final actually signals this change via Mimo. As Sheldon, Georgie and Missy got concerned about how much time Mary had started spending praying after George Saw passed away. Mimo, in the final, says, Just give her some time, she'll calm down. It's a pointed line, because as the audience knows she doesn't calm down and goes completely the other way. With this line, young Sheldon signals the future of Mary in the Big Bang Theory and gives an explanation to the difference between the two Mary Coopers we know in the shows. Her seclusion, loneliness, and sadness over her husband's death drove the character's development. Thanks watching this video. Please subscribe my ESA Media to our channel and stay with T-Us.